Want to talk workflow? The average municipal resident produces 100 gallons of wastewater each day, and that volume sets the tone for sewage treatment and water reclamation operations across the country. Multiply that by 300,000 residents, and you get a feel for the scope of the daily challenge faced by the Upper Occoquan Water Reclamation Plant. This wastewater treatment plant handles upwards of 30 million gallons per day, and its chemical treatment system relies on the flow of 1 million pounds of pebble lime through its system every month. We have six silos, and we get about 20 truckloads per month. Each truck holds 25 tons. When we're delivering it, it takes about one hour to offload the truck. So 25 tons in one hour. It's traveling pretty fast through the, through the pipes. Well, the problem with the delivery of the lime to the plant, it comes as a uh, pebble lime with powder, and we pneumatically convey it from the delivery truck up to the top of silos that are about three or four stories high. The conveyance pipe kept blowing out every six months or a year. It would wear out because of the erosion from the grit and pebbles in the lime. That was a problem because we would have lime dust all over the building. We would have to stop using that lime silo until we got the pipe repaired. Problem blowouts not only create a reduction of workflow, but health and safety issues result as well. When the elbows wore out, you get a hole maybe a couple of inches high by maybe half an inch to an inch wide. But remember, the truck is blowing this pebble lime in at a fast rate, and you would have pebble lime and lime dust billowing all over the building. It creates health concerns, a slip hazard. You get your lime dust in your electrical components into your mechanical components, so it's all around just not good. Since we've installed the smart elbows, we haven't had those blowouts. Throughout its 30 years in operation, the plant has sought a long-term solution to its blowout problem. It tried welded steel pipe with short radius elbows, long radius welded steel, and also installed ductile iron pipe and elbows. Forgioni and his staff also researched wearback elbows in various linings. They even contacted the lime industry in hope of finding a longer lasting remedy, but to no avail. Until discovering HammerTech and its smart elbow. We needed to do something to let the pipes last longer before they blow out. We investigated different options and alternatives, found out about the HammerTech smart elbow, went to visit a treatment plant where they used it for the same application. They loved it. We bought some, and it's been three to four years, depending on which ones we installed. Uh, so we know that at least four years we haven't had a blowout. Adapting the HammerTech Smart Elbow System for the Upper Occoquan Water Reclamation Plant was a relatively smooth transition. Installing the HammerTech Smart Elbows initially took a little bit more work than just replacing the valve because the pipe layout was made really for standard elbows or for these long sweep elbows. What the mechanics did was take straight lengths of pipe, attach flanges to it, and use those to mate the existing pipe up to where they wanted to install the smart elbows. Well within their capabilities, fairly easy for them, and they said it wasn't hard work at all to mate up to the HammerTech elbows. Forgioni and his team deployed a progressive strategy to first install the HammerTech smart elbow system in the newer workhorse sector of their facility. First installation was the new building, H2, where we installed 690s and 345s. We were using that facility at the time. The old facility was not used as much, and that was our highest priority. We installed those, we were very happy with them, and a year later, we went to the older original facility and installed the 90s and 45s there. In total, at our facility, we have five 45 degree smart elbows and 12 90 degree smart elbows. To keep the massive daily influx of pebble lime supply flowing, HammerTech smart elbows provided the perfect solution for the Upper Occoquan water reclamation plant. To date, elbow failure is no longer a biannual concern. 
and plugged conveyance lines have been eliminated. But once we found them, the delivery was fast, the installation was fast, and our experience with them has been excellent. We haven't had any blowouts in the four years from the initial installation and in the three years from the second installation. So far, so good. Reduced maintenance, uh, better health-wise, less of a mess to work through, so we're happy with them.